What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Today we're going to be putting the hood back on the Civic. We're also going to have to cut a hole to get this exit to go through the hood. And I'm thinking that we might fabricate a small teardrop to put on here on top of the hood after we make our cuts. I'm going to go ahead and put a little clip of my finished product right now so you guys can see what that looks like. So now that you guys have seen my finished product, if you like it, go ahead, go down below and hit the like button. Also, continue watching so you guys can see how I fabricated everything and how we got to this point. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So this is what you guys are going to need. You're going to need a hose saw. You're also going to need a little drill bit. Um, you're going to need some rivets, which I don't have right here, with the little gun. You're also going to need some metal i got this at home depot you can probably get it at menards also these sheets um they're about ten dollars each uh this sheet was actually about this size and i got this last year but i'm gonna use this to fabricate the teardrop also for the hose saw they sell the hose saws for around twenty dollars at least where I live, they're around $20 at Home Depot at Menards for a three inch, three and a half inch one. So instead, I ended up going to Harbor Freight and I got a whole set of them. This is not meant for metal. As you can see, it's for wood and it's for plastic. But I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be able to cut through that hood at least once or twice with this kind of blades so i went ahead and i picked this up because of the fact that i need two two different sizes um i need a three and a half and i need a four inch the four inch is the one that we're going to use to cut the hole first on the hood and then the three and a half inch is the one that's going to be a little bit tighter that's going to be for the teardrop so it could be tight around the pipe the exhaust pipe So that's the reason why I went with this kit, because this was only $14. Otherwise, I would have spent a bunch of money right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hood back on these guys, and then I'll continue recording. So the hood's back on. I'm going to go ahead, lay it down, use a marker, and trace this outline of this circle. So I couldn't get a marker. I couldn't find one. But I did outline this a little bit right here. Maybe you guys can see it. There's a little circle that I scratched with the um, screwdriver. And I'm going to go ahead right into the center of it. And that's where I'm going to start my, my hole. So I got my drill plugged in. And I got the tip on there with the hole saw. I also got my regular want to drill a hole what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole right through the center of the mark that I got on there then I'm gonna bring my hood down and I'm gonna drill from the top down with the hose saw therefore everything will be a nice clean hole another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay something here um, to protect the hood to make sure that I don't go through 
and scratch or damage something underneath. I already went ahead and I laid some hoodies down to protect some of the stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. We got our little mark right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and start from the top down. Before we do drill from the top down, I'm gonna go ahead and put this wood underneath to protect the engine compartment. Now I feel pretty confident and ready to start drilling again. So that little spot that's right here, we're gonna go ahead and just go all the way through. And I'm gonna let the, the hose saw um, work its way in. I'm not gonna force it or anything. So there it is. I went ahead and I cut all the way through. I did use some of this stuff to lube it up. But now we have a perfect four inch hole that we cut out. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna see if the pipe will go right through there. Oh man, it's a little bit too close on this side. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more right here. In this edging but I guess it's fine because remember that we're gonna have our teardrop that's gonna cover up all this gap so I'm gonna grab some cardboard and I got my three and a half that's gonna sit right here like that I'm gonna go ahead and punch this out on the cardboard So now that you've punched this out, this should fit right over this, pretty much perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the shape of a teardrop, exactly how I want it. And then I'm gonna trim it with the scissors. And I made this circle, and then I outlined these lines just by scraping them. And it looks kinda like, like an ice cream cone. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and I'll show you guys. So this is the shape that we got. I went ahead and I cut everything out. And check it out. You can either go like that or a little bit at an angle. Like that. I think I kind of like it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, trace this out onto my sheet of metal. And then after I trace it out and I cut it out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the little holes where I'm gonna put the rivets all the way around. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the holes where the rivets are gonna drop through. There you go, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead, clean it up, lay some paint, and then we'll continue. And I laid some gloss on it and I'm pretty sure it would have probably looked a lot better if it was like a flat black or a gloss black or something like that. But I still think it's still gonna look pretty good. Um, there is a giant stain right here. I don't know what this is. I did have the hood laying over there. So I have no clue what that is, but it looks like it might've gone through the paint. Not sure. Yeah, it looks like this is the paint that ran off. So it's kind of weird, but 
see a giant stain there now the hood was over here so there's obviously nothing on the floor so i don't know what it could have been it's kind of weird i went ahead and i laid some rivets and you guys can see that it kind of blends in So if I would have painted that teardrop black or something, it would have really like made it stand out. So this is fine for now until I get my paint job later on down the road. Besides that, I think this is going to be it. Um, it is really humid out right now. And this week that's coming up, is supposed to be somewhere around 95 degrees. So my videos might slow down depending how hot it is in this garage either way i will catch you guys on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later